Carrie, the 2002 TV movie. Again, I have nothing to compare it to because I haven't seen the other Carrie movies yet. But I like this one. This one's good. Again, it's not the original, so maybe I'll need to go back and watch those. But this one's, yeah, this one's good. So I'm assuming it's the same story for every one of these where Carrie, you got this girl who has these powers. Her mother is really uh, religious. So she like beats her childhood. Thinks, you know, she's the devil. So when she's in school, she gets, obviously she gets bullied. And these girls are just really assholes. And I, I knew watching, okay, she's got a break at some point. She's got to kill every one of these girls that are complete bitches like that's gotta happen at least one point please please carrie's kind of not the, the typical she's the typical like movie girl where she's shy she's bullied she's very lonely anti-social uh, until she gets asked out by one of the guys and you know she's very skeptical because this guy was also the girlfriend to the bitch that was bullying her i'm calling her the bitch you know but she does like okay yes you know this is her first prom and then while that's happening all these bitches are scheming and shit they even kill a pig just for blood they get later on split on carrie which which sucks and then they get there she and this guy that you know he he asked her out they become king and queen prom king and queen whatever and then it happens and then it happens pig blood gets splattered all over her that one bitch she's like running away the bucket drops on her boyfriend he wasn't scheming with the, his other friends there's no he actually did feel bad for her and wanted to help her same thing with this other girl this black girl she wanted to you know help her she, she was a part of the bullying but then you know how far they pushed her she, she felt bad and she you know comes and helps her this is when Mora's like yes you've awakened the beast the animal and she just messes everything up water the water pipe starts fire death slip around kills a bunch of people uh, kills uh Catherine Isabel who I love from American Mary and Supernatural kills her wish it would have more bloody but I get it this is TV the MPA is very strict on that stuff she even electrocutes the ground like she's fucking everything up and then she goes out of the school fucks up like kind of a part of the neighborhood and she gets revenge she kills this bitch and her boyfriend <clears throat> fucking kills all of them yes i was waiting for that i was like yes it's eventually going to happen she has to kill her she just has to. there's no way i'm gonna watch this bullying and she's not gonna kill any one of these she does and then she eventually gets to her house her mother's there being the religious person that she is she has carrie go in a bathtub she you know takes a bath she doesn't know what she's doing as if she, you know she's being taken control by something else another entire entity and so her mother's like you know i'm gonna kill you because she's very you know religious she believes the devil's inside her she tries to drown her it enrages Carrie more and not even Carrie but something inside Carrie kills her own mother and breaks the whole house and then you know the, the black friend comes in as is what happened Carrie doesn't know what's happening what's happening because again it's as if she, this thing's controlling her these two they go away uh, she secures her in captivity and also throughout the whole movie I like this there's the, there are these interviews throughout events that happen after the prom night so you get the black girl first and then the cheer at the very end claiming to see something supernatural you know Carrie's not normal however the FBI or cops would have been who they are don't really believe it but you know there's specifically the teacher just kind of being like something weird and supernatural happened and whether you believe it or not you know it basically happened so i like the aspect of the movie these little interviews throughout the whole movie love that and then this black friend and carrie i, I think it's her name sue i don't want to call her black friend but i think her name is sue correct me if i'm wrong she's you know in the grave seeing both her and her mother's name on this grave it says that she's willing to take her out to florida but until that she has to come back to wherever they are and so that's what they do and that's what the movie ends you know it's good it's good there's you know a lot of problems just because of tv production wise it's like okay i get it why they had to do that and again i don't enjoy watching like bullying movies but this is an exception because she has to kill every one of them what well, the only main two are Catherine isabel and the blonde chick everyone else just die that period scene must be horrifying like, specifically for girls because i was watching it like yeah it's pretty embarrassing but yeah fourth will be one br on netflix this is brand new oh this is like one year old but i've never seen this movie before it's obviously netflix but yeah excited to see that